Hey everyone, it's Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. I'm out here in the heart of Henderson, Nevada with a home for sale behind me. We're in Green Valley, which is about 20 minutes from the famous Las Vegas Strip. And I have this home for sale behind me. It's 2,305 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, three car garage. And wait till we get inside. This thing is so big. It just feels, feels way bigger than 2,305 square feet. It's got vaulted ceilings throughout. You'll just, you're gonna love it. Let's go take a look inside. Follow me. Okay, everyone, here we go. We have a 2,305 square foot, two-story home, right in the heart of Henderson, Nevada, home for sale. We're in Green Valley. Look down the side yard here, so you can see there's gate there, and a nice little walkway to the back. Three-car garage. It's gonna be four bedroom, three bath. Listed for $594,900. Nice mature landscape. You get this big pine tree here next to a palm. Best of both worlds. And a very tall entrance coming into this home with the glass above and the real tall door. Nice little front covered patio. You could fit a table, a couple chairs out here. Nice little fence as well. Take a little look down this side of the home. So, yeah, just a little side yard. Not a lot of usable space, but it is shaded. And we walk into this big open floor plan. So these two-story homes are kind of split in half to where half of the home where the living space is downstairs, you get two-story uh, ceilings or at least the vaulted ceilings. And then the rest of the house is on the right side, which I'll show you, but nice big open room, brand new uh, flooring here as well. And that light wood look. This would be your living area and your formal dining area if you wanted to make that. Really high windows in this room too. Let in a lot of light even though the home's pretty shaded. Couple cutouts in the wall up there. And I do like this center staircase as well. It doesn't seem to take up too much space, which is always a concern with these center staircases. And they've built around it accordingly. Again, real tall windows letting the light in there is a sunscreen on that top window there new ceiling fans new lighting fixtures new flooring this will be the kitchen rake room living room area sorry family room area the fireplace and so it was built in 1995 so definitely the state-of-the-art features in 1995 small area for your big screen tv there uh, yeah, I figured that out. I'd probably have my TV on this wall personally. Um, but yeah, you do have this fireplace to kind of pull in the fireplace for a nice gas and this kitchen. So they've replaced the countertops. Looks like the appliances and, count and uh, cabinets are new. I'm sorry, are original, but the countertops and backsplash are new. Black appliances. They did do a white stove there to kind of blend in with the countertops i mean it looks pretty nice the the cabinets definitely uh could be updated to match you know the rest of the kitchen maybe stainless appliances all black or all white do have a little window above the kitchen there letting more light in that's a good size island and you have room for bar stools here so you can eat at the island work at the island nice double basin sink upgraded faucet there Black appliance, white. Somehow the black and white kind of works together in this kitchen. Um, usually it really sticks out when there's different color, but for some reason this works. So I'm not opposed to this white fridge here. It does come with the house. Your pantry is going to be off to the side with some sliders. Uh, double door pantry, pretty big area for food storage and your dining table light. This would be for your little kitchen nook table. And we'll take a look out back in just a moment. But again, you can just see the high ceilings and the openness in this floor plan when you're in the main living area. 
At 2,305 square feet, it does feel much bigger than that. Off to the right immediately, we're gonna have the laundry room. It does have a three car garage. You have those same cabinets from the kitchen. And out to the three car garage, you have a water softener there, which you need in Las Vegas. So Miss Dad or Salt and you're off to the races. Sprinkler control box. Small garage door does not have an automatic opener. So you'd need to install that if you needed that there. Or if you did it, you just leave it uh, real easy to open. And a big storage rack looks like it's gonna stay with the house and it's actually an extended garage. So you could do a little workbench area or something there as well. So very, very large garage. Let's go check out the rest of the house. So we do have a coat closet, closet under the stairs immediately uh, off to the left of the stairs. Do you have a little area here for something? Maybe a table, a water feature, I don't know, a lamp, decoration of some sort. And then we come to the right here and we have a bathroom. Uh, it's the powder room, half bath, pedestal sink, nice vanity above, toilet. It's really all you need, the new flooring. So we're gonna see this flooring through most of the wet areas. Just not the kitchen, but in the bathroom is out of this flooring. Then we had a linen closet off to the left also from the bathroom. Now the primary bedroom is downstairs in this home. So as we walked in, that's gonna be the main area when you walk in, the stairs there. So off to the right side of the house with very tall ceilings, we're gonna have the primary bedroom. So these ceilings are extra tall. Again, extra windows for more light. Very big, spacious primary bedroom. Uh, the primary downstairs is great as well. A lot of people enjoy that. It also helps the resale uh, uh, capabilities of your home, I guess I should say. There's a nice new ceiling fan, a cutout above. You can see how tall the ceilings are. I mean, just really, really tall. The lights are not working in this bathroom for some reason, so it's gonna be a little darker in here, but they are brand new. They look really nice. I'm sure it's a fuse or just something or maybe i missed the switch i looked around quite a bit nice big soaking tub the separate glass shower enclosure we do have a big walk-in closet here as well i'm actually really a fan of this home i i think it sits so much bigger than 2305 i'm telling you it just feels so much bigger little water closet with the door for privacy you do have the glass doors on the closet so if you close these and we back up, it really just makes the bathroom look gigantic. So that's about it for downstairs. We're gonna head up the stairs and see what we find. Remember, this is a four bedroom, three baths. We've already seen two of the bathrooms. It does have this white rail that's just been painted. New carpet. It's a nice thick carpet with a nice thick pad. Newer, might not be brand new. It might be hard to say. Definitely newer. They replaced the lighting. So immediately up the stairs to the left, we have this walk-in closet for linens, games, you name it, just a nice big storage area closet. There's a small landing here, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know how often you'll stand up here and like greet your guests, but you do have the option. Off to the right, we have the full bath. So again, that same countertop you've seen throughout the house, new sinks, which is the inside part, new faucets, and the black mat. So they've mixed the mat, the mat black with the gold. And actually works pretty well, just for fun, we have silver here. So did I not? Oh, this light didn't work either in this bathroom. So a couple little electrical things that are probably easily fixed. Now this bathroom also connects to the second bedroom. Good size second bedroom, nice big wide standard closet, newer ceiling fan, really big window. And you can see behind the door is the bathroom and that goes to the rest of the home. So you do have access from this bedroom to the bathroom. If we walk out here, Looking back down at that big closet we saw, here's the bathroom. 
We'll turn around. So that's the bedroom we were just in, and we have two more bedrooms here on our left. So bedroom number three be a little smaller than bedroom number two. Nice, nice rectangle. Again, the arch above the window. I believe the sun goes this way. So I don't think you'll have sun coming through the top of there. And this room actually has a walk-in closet, which is nice. And then on to the fourth bedroom here. So the fourth bedroom, yeah, this has got to be pretty new carpet, if not brand new. Uh, about the same size as, actually a little smaller than bedroom three, a little more square, does have the double closet. So this is by far the smallest room, uh, but still a decent sized room. So that's it for the upstairs. Beautiful home. It's been freshly painted, mostly restored. I think the cabinets and appliances, railings are about all they didn't change out. Everything else seems to be following the hardware and the doors, but somehow they made the gold work. Got to give him credit for that. My name is Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this. Take a look at the backyard. If anyone you know has any real estate questions, needs, concerns, you want to see a house like this or more, uh, just let me know. Or a house that's not anything like this, let me know. I'd love to help you out. My phone number's at the bottom here. Uh, so very private backyard. You can see the neighbors. We're not really going to see them unless they're really tall. A uh, very, very tall back wall here, and then a real tall fence on that side as well. So uh, desert landscaping just needs a little cleanup. Uh, nice big covered patio in the back. Big mature uh, mesquite tree here for shade as well. It just, needs, just needs a cleanup, but this could be a real beautiful backyard. So much potential up there on the ledge with uh, plants or flowers as well. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. I'm Andrew Guyand. Please give me a call. I will see you on the next tour. Thank you.